Humanity needs to get from A to B, safely, efficiently and sustainably. But how? Mobility and transportation will change more in the coming 20 years than it did in the previous 130. A revolution is at hand. The end of the combustion engine era. What will that mean for Germany, Europe's largest economy and automotive heartland? And how might you benefit? Let's take a spin and find out. The foundation of climate-friendly mobility is electromobility. And the foundation of electromobility is the battery. More and more batteries will be made in Europe, especially in Germany. We see the battery as the motor of tomorrow. That's why it's essential to have battery production in our own hands. To that end, the Volkswagen Group has founded its Power Co. subsidiary. We want to produce battery cells in-house at our first dedicated location here in Salzgitter, which is also the Power Co. headquarters. Salzgitter aims to be a blueprint for battery cell factories all over Europe. It will produce environmentally friendly battery cells, made with renewably sourced energy, that are more than 90% recyclable. Electric vehicles, batteries and battery recycling represent a huge German market for manufacturers and suppliers, both domestic and international. The world's largest battery maker, Chinese company Contemporary Amprex Technology, recognized the enormous business potential here and expanded to Eastern Germany. In mid-2022, 25% of newly registered vehicles in Germany were electric. The plan is that, by 2030, 15 million electric vehicles will be on German roads. That means business. But you can't have electromobility without a comprehensive charging infrastructure. That means chances for companies like Ionity. Founded in 2017, the Munich firm is developing a huge, fast, sustainable network of charging stations on Germany's autobahns to serve all makes of vehicles. The key is to make charging easily accessible to all car owners. One international company doing this is Hubject, headquartered in Berlin. It runs the world's largest charging network and has more than 300,000 charging stations worldwide. In 2022, the German government drew up its second charging infrastructure master plan. It mandates 1 million charging stations in Germany by 2030 supported with 4 billion euros in state subsidies. There's a lot of opportunities to connect here. The lighter an electric vehicle is, the better its performance. So lightweight engineering is crucial. And there are pockets of expertise throughout Germany. My carbon is one of the leading clusters in Germany. We focus on lightweight engineering in aviation and the automotive industry. Together with our partners, we have launched more than 60 projects to drive the mobility transition forward. Coriolis develops and sells automated fiber placement equipment. It's a highly automated, resource-efficient way of producing composite components. Lightweight engineering is very closely connected to sustainability. That's why one of the things we do here is look at what happens to the materials we develop at the end of their life cycle. How can we break down those materials into a sensible product that can be reintroduced into regular production chains? Fiber reinforced plastics, for example, are 40% lighter than aluminium and 80% lighter than steel. The global market for them in 2020 was worth 140 billion euros and the sector is expected to grow by 7 to 8 percent annually. Digitalization, paired with powerful and reliable communications networks, is the key to autonomous mobility. By 2025, all major transportation routes in Germany will be equipped with 5G. And innovative companies like Here Technologies are delivering ultra-precise digital geodata. With 26 testing areas, Germany is the perfect place to develop and try out autonomous mobility solutions. The government has invested 100 million euros in expanding these capacities. One firm taking advantage of the opportunity is MAN. Together with partners like Knorr Bremse, Leoni and Bosch, 
MAN's Atlas L4 project aims to get self-driving trucks on the roads by the middle of the decade. The project also enjoys government support and is profiting from progressive German laws concerning autonomous mobility. The technology is fast advancing. It's really accelerating in recent years. All big players are in, the OEMs, the suppliers. We see also a lot of new companies, startups entering the business on autonomous driving and trucking. And Germany is one of the first countries having now a law in place how to homologate autonomous vehicles, cars and trucks. Level 4 autonomous driving was allowed on open roads for the first time anywhere in the world in Germany. Such excellent conditions are advantageous for companies. For example, logistics firms like the Hamburg tech startup Modility. Modility is about simplifying access to rail transport and combined transport, that is to say road and rail. We combine the best of two worlds in a digital market, which means more cargo transported by rail. The last mile logistics of the future is the focus of Berlin's Ono Motion. The Ono Motion vision is to make cities more livable and quieter and to reduce the space taken up by traffic in urban logistics. To that end, we have come up with the Ono, a top of the line e cargo bike. It has a variety of modular containers on the back so we can replace delivery vans in urban last-mile logistics. Another major pillar of future mobility in Germany is hydrogen. It's particularly useful for heavy transport. The Caradia Island, built by French company Alstom, is the first passenger train worldwide to be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. It recently set a record for travel on a single tank of fuel, 1175 kilometers. This project was supported by the German government as part of its program for national innovation in hydrogen and fuel cell technology. This quarter billion euro initiative is set to continue until 2026. It's another fantastic resource for businesses. For example, companies that develop testing and manufacturing systems. Firms like Horiba Fuelcon from Eastern Germany. This subsidiary of Horiba Europe came up with the system used by the Alstom H2 train. Der Wasserstoff als Energiespeicher. I think there's no disputing that hydrogen will be necessary as an energy carrier to make renewable energies the pillar of our energy supply. We support our customers from development until mass production with the needed testing equipment and manufacturing technology. With our production technology, we're a good partner, particularly for companies right now in the area of solid oxide fuel cells. The future is bright for Hariba, with the number of hydrogen fuel stations in Germany to be quadrupled from 100 to 400 by 2025. 350 million euros are going into that project. It's another example of the opportunities Germany holds for domestic and international companies on the ground in the country. Germany Trade and Invest can help your future mobility company come to Germany and prosper, all free of charge, since we're a government agency. We look forward to hearing from you.